Hello, hello, folks, and welcome back to Serious Sam. This time, it's Serious Sam HD, second encounter. And it's still 2016. Where I am, at least. When I am, at least. <laughs> uh, it's... Come on, phone, cooperate. Um, just wanted to get out pictures there for a moment, so I could... Um, I was just adjusting the audio levels. They didn't do an audio test. They just copied the audio levels from Series Sam 1, roughly. Should be fine. Uh, we'll listen to this afterwards to make sure. But it's currently uh, 11.39 on Tuesday the 27th of September, 2016. And it's this is going to be like released the, you know, first of Monday. Uh, or, oh, what? Actually, no, I'm changing my s s upload schedule in 2019 for this, aren't I? One, e one episode a day, unless it's, you know, 12 point, uh, twelve part A, 12 part B. Then they'll be released half an hour after the previous one. Um, so, yeah. yeah. Also, the graphics levels have gone down a bit. Because I was noticing there was freezing in my videos. And I think, because when you're on 60 frames, I found my videos froze more. And the, the freezing was more serious. Happened more near the start of vids. Uh, maybe it happened even in the middle, middle of them. I've only seen it near the start of them. Like a little bit in. Uh, it would freeze for a bit. Then unfreeze and continue on. But when it was on 60. It would f freeze. Unfreeze. Freeze. This kind of thing. So. I'm thinking if I put it down to 720p. Which is still HD. It's just not 1080. Um. It should be it should be fine. Hopefully my computer will uh, freeze a lot less. Or at least not at all. So yeah, this kinda spoils shit. Oh and I can just go right into doing this. The this is the DLC I was talking about back in um Series Sam one. And for some reason, I could go back and play Series Sam 1 in Series Sam 2. Let's look at this. Ready for a battle. Yeah, I'm back in Series Sam 1. Alright then. God damn, that eye up there makes me think of Children of Denial. Uh, that uh, video game series. Um, might do a playthrough of it at some stage. It'll depend on um, who owns it and copyrights and all that. But, um, don't matter what I was saying. Think I was talking about the other thing. Um, you know, video quality and all that. Freezing and shite. Um, but whatever. Basically, I think it was just, hopefully, it'll work fine. Hopefully. Um, Palinic, uh, Sierra de Capas? I'm sorry, I can't pronounce this. It seems that something hit our spaceship when we were forced to land. I don't know if Mental has its, his finger, has its fingers in this. My sensors sense some yelling just before the colli collision. Yeah, he had his fingers in it. They launched a the kamikaze. Fortunately, I, I have gathered a lot of useful information while we were on board. I was connected to the main computer, and I downloaded an enormous quantity of data. I still need to process a lot of this data. Regardless, according to what I've processed up to now, we still have the possibility of to complete our mission successfully. You see, Sirens left a backup device for traveling to distant galaxies. If something happens to the original SS centerpiece, center price, well, something happened. Yet I can't figure out what that backup transport vehicle is. What I know for sure is somehow connected with the Holy Grail and its magical powers. We need to get the Holy Grail, and our, and our mission will continue. So everything is fine. Well, almost everything. There is only one problem. We've crashed in South in South America mountains, Sierra de Ca Capas, near the ancient uh, Mayan city of Panique. 
that's about 400 years away from the location of the uh, Holy Grail. Bad karma, I guess. 400 years away? So, I take it the Holy Grail ends up there in a, um, in a 400 years time, I guess. Hmm. Luckily, the Sirens left a solution for this problem. They left one locked tr teleport to each major civilization that has appeared on the face of the Earth. Therefore, one was left for the mines. My assumption is that it should be placed in the city of Tectilacan, one of the largest mine cities of that time. Well, I, I, I mean this time. Anyway, we should find a way to Tectilacan. A good look, my brave one. And we only have our knife and our gun. The knife, I think, looks a bit different. I know, more detailed. Oh, chainsaw, baby. We'll deal with that in a moment. Let's get the chainsaw first. Of course. Never can have any fun, can I? Look, Ma! I'm a lumberjack! Let's head in the water before anything happens. Ooh, there's actually stuff back there. Don't actually have to swim down here to get something nice. Wonder if I can actually cut down trees with this. Well, this doesn't seem healthy to be around. Oh, really? That was se considered secret armor? Huh. <laughs> really? Secret phone boat has been discovered. I've never seen this game before, so I've no idea what to expect. Hello, operator. Give me Las Vegas. Hello? Blondie, is it you? No, it's Jones. Ah, when will he come? He will come when he's done, boy. Done with what? Uh, I've been waiting forever for him to show up. Is it a reference to Duke Nukem? I, I don't know why, but my mind is just thinking it's meant to be because Blondie. That's what my mind jumped to. Who could we be talking about? And it's a he. So, I jumped to, to the uh, Duke. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Never actually played a Duke Nukem game. If I do, it won't be on this channel. Main reason being is that I would have some wicked deep time with the censoring. Wow, it's a secret rock launcher. Cool. Let's, go, let's reach the surface before uh, I drown, eh? Then I can dive back in. There might be more down below. Come on. Stop drowning, Sam. It's not that hard. Just... You know, grow a second long, a third long, or a fourth long, and that'll be provide plenty of extra oxygen. I'm sure you can, you know, find room for it. I know uh, the, rock, the spaceship's exploding up above, but it doesn't really matter. Okay, since I saved up at the top, it doesn't matter if I die here, I can just load th reload that. Is this getting hazier the further down you go? Hmm, that looks creepy. Why am I hearing birds down here? Why is there suddenly a ton of light down here? I wonder, have I already reached the bottom? And I'm just like, it just doesn't look like I have. No, no, I reached, reached the bottom. And I was just about to die anyway. Or start dying. Actually, I should have waited a moment and seen if it's, uh, drowning takes a point off your armor or just goes straight through your health. So I remember one game that actually takes it off your armor first. Oh, what do you have said? 
uh, the Lost Valley. I activated my ultrasound sensors and probably scared away all the birds and animals. Readings are really interesting. There is a temple at the end of this valley, which means that we're closer to Palnik than I initially thought. Cool. The data I gathered back in the spaceship is really useful. Like I said, me. the portals are locked, but for every lock there is a key. The sacred item needed f uh, for the activation of the portal in Tektkalan is located somewhere in the Valley of the Jaguar. When we get close, I should be able to detect its magical presence. Then I'll be able to tell you what it, what it looks like. For now, just proceed towards the temple. Magical presence. Also. Howdy. Fucking tree hugger. Anyone else want to make an issue of that? Y oh, you do. Oh, and you. Anyone else? Anyone else? Anyone else? Secret weapon has been found. I'm going to keep doing this. America. Look, I am the guy with the chainsaw. I can do what the fuck I like. Oh, I've already gotten the rocket launcher and the Thompson. That is awesome. And if I keep chopping these down, I'll probably get extra ammo. Well, anyway, um... Also, one other thing I've been thinking about is, you know, the Blondie thing, but waiting forever to show up. And he, he will show up when he shows up thing. Duke Nukem Forever. It was in development for a very long time. Of course, maybe I'm wrong all, all in all about the Duke. It being a reference to Duke at all. But that's where my mind goes, so... I'm just adding a little bit more to it than just making a wild guess, you know? Um... So yeah. Wonder, can I chop this down with this? Maybe. It's just kind of spazzing the screen out though. That's a more, you know, helpful sound effect, but no, doesn't seem to work. Anyway. Would you stop exploding? You're ruining my you know, nice tree chopping. I'm just so peaceful otherwise. I uh, probably can't cut this down. It's already pretty uh, stumpy. Strange, uh, no more, more tree huggers have spawned. Also, to <laughs> Ooh, awesome! More ammo! I like nature. You know, I'm just to be clear, I'm just taking the piss here. I frequently say things I don't agree with, just to make a joke. Because I figure someone will find it funny. So if you want to know my actual opinion on things, you trust me, you'll know it. Uh, or you can ask me to clarify. Um... Like, that's fine. It's better you ask than to think I'm s when I say something, I mean it. Regardless of how I may sound, I'm actually, I actually try and be easygoing with people, you know? Strive to be, you know, easygoing and approachable. Um, except with these people. They don't count. Anyway, um, the, um, so yeah, feel free to ask me. Um, I was going to say something else, but I don't remember. Like, yeah, basically feel free to ask. This is beautiful. Not sure if there's enough oomph on the chainsaw. Like enough, like, um... It's not satisfying enough kind of thing. 
I mean, look, I'm not expecting, you know, uh, 100 quid in a, a blowjob here, but it just, I don't know, something about it almost lacks oomph. The oomph that, like, this shotgun has, you know? So, come on. Then again, I suppose not every weapon can be a shotgun. Oh, hey. Yeah. That's why you don't play chicken with another with a chainsaw. You're gonna lose. Like seriously, that you, you chose poorly. Like seriously. Seriously. And I'm sorry, I'm just chopping down all the trees now because you never know which one will give you a secret and which one won't. Unless you read a guide, which I'm present, which I don't really want to do. Why did you leave her on the ship then? Also, why are the, all, you know, random, you know, modern equipment just hanging around in a jungle in, you know, South America? Uh, you know, thousands of years before they were created. Fucking suicidal tree huggers. Piss off. America! We don't like your kind around here, boy. It's my best American voice. I knew. Not sure how well that went, but there you go. It's less trying to do a McCree voice and more quoting McQue McCree while doing a Southern voice. At least they don't go down quickly enough. But sadly, they don't seem to spawn on. Hmm, there's a pad up to the right. May want to go that way. Probably will lead me to a secret or something nice. Do I even need to grab this potion, or correct me, uh, uh, to correct myself, can I? And the answer is no. Ah, hey buddy, me chainsaw. Chainsaw! Alright, let's break out this shoddy. Boom, baby. Now all I can think of is uh, Sabaton's song, Shotgun. As far as I know, it's not a cover of anything. It's like their song, you know? Um, so yeah, that's what I'm thinking of now. Go look it up if you want to have a listen to it. I think they have it under Spotify. Presume they do anyway. Uh, for those who don't know, Sabaton is a like a, it's a metal band. I've heard it described as power metal, heavy metal. I don't know what it is. I've just heard it described in varying different ways. All I know is I like it. Uh, a lot of their albums are like based off historical stuff. Like um, there's one song dedicated to a soldier during World War II who quite willingly went into Auschwitz to find out what was going on in there. Uh, soldier, uh, no, inmate, the, uh, and then it's a string of numbers, is the name of that song. Uh, it's in Heroes. Um, that album. He went in under fraudulent details to find out what was going on in there, and even broke out with secret documents or something. Uh, I can't remember how much they s said in their little historical thing, and how much I read on Wik Wikipedia. I take them over Wikipedia. They actually, for uh, Carolius Rex, apparently actually went to into a, a historian for information on um, the Swedish Empire. It's me. Uh, and they actually got the uh, historian in question to write the um, book, uh, like the digital book which you get on iTunes if you buy the album. So yeah. 
He doesn't seem to be giving me any extra secrets. You get One second. Well, you're really 